Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a brand new video. This time, I'm gonna show you the process that I go through anytime I have a console that looks like this compared to a console that looks like this. And that process is called retro brighting. Now, you can use some basic stuff that you can find at a store, use a little sunlight and some saran wrap, and you guys are good to go. And you can take a console that looks all yellowed and nasty like this and make it look nice and new, just like this one. This one, I actually already did this process to. So, I am going to show you guys what I do to get these all cleaned up and the whole process of getting it retro brighted. Now there will be a little bit of a time lapse in there and there is actually a chunk of time where you have to take at least about four to six hours of leaving one of these in the sun when it's nice and warm out. That way the chemical process can take effect. So come with me as I disassemble this one. I get everything all cleaned up and prepped and then we get it retro brighted. All right, so the first step in any retro writing process is getting everything cleaned. So I need to take apart this console and get everything set aside so we can get it all scrubbed down and ready for the retro write process. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little time lapse here of me getting this all disassembled. All right, so as you can see, we got everything all separated. Here are the nasty yellow bits that need that retro writing. The rest of these, I think the yellowing that's on them is just kind of dirt and grime, so we'll get all of that cleaned up. And we do have one more piece actually right here. What we gotta do is pull this little ribbon cable out for the controller ports. Straighten that back out. Get that through its little guide. There we go. And then what we can do is go ahead and pop this off. It's just a little front cover plate here. So go ahead and pop the little tabs on either side. There we go. And one more, there. So now we can take off this piece, which will also need some retro writing. And then everything else, we'll move that little LED cover, is just about cleaning and using soap and water and isopropyl alcohol on all of the electronic bits. All right, so what we are going to do is be using some Salon Care cream, and that is the 40 volume. So it's about a 12% peroxide mix. And what we're gonna do is take some saran wrap, or cling wrap, whatever you call it. I'm just gonna lay that out, throw the first piece on top. Comes with a handy little cutter that oftentimes doesn't work very well. And with it on here, I'm just gonna shake that up throw a little bit of this down onto here. And then what I'm gonna do is just take this little brush and I am going to paint it onto all of this. Now on this little piece, I am not wearing gloves just because I can keep my fingers away from it, but I will warn you, it does definitely change the color of your fingers for a little bit if that peroxide gets on there. It stays on there for a few days. So just keep that in mind, wear gloves, when you're doing big pieces where you know that it is going to get onto your skin and just save yourself the headache. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint those and I'm actually gonna get a little bit more of that. There we go. Just using 
a little foam paintbrush, kind of globbing it on there. Just using the cap so I don't touch any of the salon cream. And then, what we're gonna do is wrap this up. Now, this not only creates a little seal, but it also keeps everything inside. It keeps all the cream in and makes it so that you can just throw this out in the sun and it will cook and keep all the gases and everything else in. All right, gloved up, ready to go. So we're gonna throw down some more of this clean wrap so that we can get our next sections all prepped and ready to go. All right, so the next step of cleaning this console is going through hitting isopropyl alcohol on all of the contacts and then just kind of getting rid of the dust and cleaning it up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little blush brush. This is a makeup brush and it is phenomenal for getting surface dust off of everything. Plus it was cheap. I got a whole pack of these brushes for like five bucks. So why wouldn't I want that? All right, so went ahead and left this in the UV box overnight. There you can see that original coloring and there's the new coloring. Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this wrap off of here and then get this cleaned up so that we can get that console put back together and enjoy a console that looks like new again. All right, now it is time to go through all of the different pieces of this Super Nintendo and get it all put back together. So I'm just gonna start by putting a couple of these in place and then I'm gonna get this put together and give you guys a time lapse of that. There we go. No longer do we have a dark yellow brown console. There's still a little bit of yellowing to it. It's hard to get rid of all of it, but this console looks so much better than it did. And 
that was done with just some retro brighting and a little soap and water. So, awesome. Another restored console, and that is how you do retro brighting. So there you have it everyone, that is how you retro bright a console. It's pretty easy as far as steps go, you just take it apart, clean it up, apply a little bit of the solution, there's a few different ways to do it. I like to use the salon cream and stick it outside or in a UV box method, I just find that works best for me. And as you can see, this console looks way better than it did in the beginning. It actually isn't you know yellow anymore or in some areas it was actually kind of a dark brown so this console now looks great and is ready to get flipped or maybe i'll put this one in my collection because my other one doesn't have the upgraded sound module in it and this one does now if you guys like today's video please be sure to let me know down in the comments below and while you're down there please be sure to also hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell so you get an alert every time i get a new video coming out now as always i'm game dad i thank you guys for watching and i'll Catch you later.